chugging along. Welcome back to Vapor Views. Mike here, and today we're finally going to talk about the Crystal XL BDC. If you were unlucky enough to watch the first video that I posted of it, um, I kind of tore it up for gurgling, and that was my fault. Uh, I kind of skipped reading the instructions on the back, so you'll have to forgive me. I deleted the video, and I'm going to go ahead and redo it. What was happening is I was thinking that this refill line that you can't even see in the shot um, indicated how much to refill the liquid when in actuality it was telling you that your fluid was low, your e-juice or your e-liquid was low. So when it went below that line I would get gurgling and it was really consistent every time it was below that line and I chewed this device a new one and I felt really bad about even posting the video but my job is to be honest and honesty kind of bit me in the ass this time because I was the one that made the mistake. So here's the new video. This tank retails for $21.99 at vapage.com. The link will be in the description. Here's a picture of the retail packaging. What's included inside is the tank and it's pre-assembled with a coil and the drip tip. A beauty ring for your Ego Cone threading, your Ego style batteries, or your Vapid U turn if you own one of those, and also an extra 1.8 ohm coil. So you're set up for a while. The Crystal XL is a dual bottom coil, it's bottom fed tank, it is a polycarbonate tank, and it uses the Aspire BDC coil. I'll post a link down in the description in the description, in the description. I'll post a link down there. This bad boy holds a ton of juice. And that refill line it's kind of like I would say maybe three and a half mils of juice before you have to refill so one and a half maybe two or even more mils um, is going to be left in the tank before you start noticing a drastic decrease in performance and by drastic I mean insane you're gonna have gurgling and I had a flood once it absolutely kills the performance of this tank. So it does include this plastic drip tip. I'm just gonna do an on-camera breakdown of it. This drip tip is removable. I am gonna ding it on um, the drip tip a little bit because every other drip tip that I have fits in there, but it wobbles. Here's a drip tip, for instance. So it fits in there, and then it just wobbles around. So you might have one in your collection that works. Mine don't. Uh, the base is removable, obviously, to fill and to replace coils. It is a knurled base, so it's a lot, uh, it's actually really easy to use. Uh, I got some vapor towel here, Mr. Bassardo's term, I'm going to jack it for the moment. And then the coil unscrews from the base this way. The base itself is where the tank gets its airflow from. It's drawn off the side, there's two holes there. So it doesn't get it from the 510 connection, which is great. You won't have to worry about it leaking directly onto your center pin. Today I'm going to be using, again, my little Segeli. It's my trusty beater mod at 10 watts. It is kind of a noisy tank, but it, it performs stellar. Let's just go ahead and give it a vape and see what it does. The only couple of things that I can ding the device on, personal preference wise, is the shape. I, I'm not a big fan of the teardrop shape. Uh, the plastic drip tip, uh, you know, it is what it is. It does its job, but I can't replace it because it doesn't fit uh, other drip tips very well. The polycarbonate tank, it is known to be prone to cracking. Uh, there are certain juices that will do that. The e-cigarette forum has a plethora of information about which juices uh, will crack polycarbonate tanks and I believe they've compiled a whole list of known tank cracking juices. So if you're interested in looking at that, hop over to the e-cig forum. I'll see if I can dig up a link for you and stick it in the description as well. I was really happy I found out that refill line was to tell you that you're low on liquid and not how much liquid to fill because when you fill it with five mils it goes above it and it 
makes everything awkward you know I was like okay and other than that it's printed upside down it, well it's actually right side up when the device is standing up but when you're filling it this way it's upside down so I was kind of wigged out I'm like why would they do that and then uh, I found on the back of the packaging that I had luckily taken a picture of before uh, that it says to refill it when it gets below that line which makes sense to me now it sounds stupid but it is what it is um, and I thought it was something like the iClear 30S where you have your markers that you can't see on this shot. Uh, you have your markers that tell you how much fluid or liquid or juice to put in the tank. Uh, what I've done is I've refilled this iClear 30S that I showed you earlier and we're going to have a little vape off I guess. Uh, same device, same wattage, same juice and we'll see what they do. So let me just give this one a pull and see what happens and then the iClear 30S both beasts of the tank I mean they're both they're both great tanks it's not like I'm, I'm not blowing clouds out of a Patriot or a Nimbus or a Trident or anything like that it's just a, a tank you know something you would carry around with you every day they both get really good vapor production but the thing is um, you'll see in the video that they're very similar uh, va vapor production wise but the draw on this one is way tighter than the iClear 30S it's actually almost too tight and that's another uh, another thing I would ding this device on is not having that adjustable airflow the flavor is great the vapor is awesome but uh, if you don't like a tight draw this one's probably not for you if you do this, it's great I also used it on a U-turn and I'll show you real quick how it looks and how it vapes on a U-turn. So I'm on a U-turn 1300. This is also from Vapage set at 4.3 volts on a full charge. Let me make sure it's on and we'll give it a test. Still works great. All right, this bell that you see that seems like it's a, it's a uh, reduction chamber, I guess you would call it a faux bell. It, it looks like one, but on the inside it's not. It has a rubber grommet on the inside that kind of seals the coil up against it to prevent further leaking into the top of the coil. Um, it serves its purpose just fine, but it's not what you would think it is. It, it blows away a lot of the other bottom coils that I own. It, it kills the Kanger line. With everything that we talked about, um, I think this tank is amazing. Um, now that I've figured out how to use it. It's going to get a 4 out of 5. The only reason I wouldn't give it a 5 out of 5 is because of the drip tip and the airflow that we talked about earlier. If it had a glass tank, the drip tip was interchangeable and it had airflow control, which I know seems like a lot, this thing would be a Nautilus killer. It is a stud. And that's been my re-review of the Vapage Crystal XL BDC. I apologize for the uh, mistake upload earlier. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want, or just watch me babble on. Have a good one. Let's just, I'm just going to vape on this now. I'm so happy that I found out that I was the idiot here.